Welcome to the Bougie Black Rebel Market. Good morning and welcome to the Tech Bro Wino. I'm Michael, your Bougie Black Brother. And today I brought some new accessories for my Ramba 960. Um, there's a time that stuff be wearing out and the app actually comes up and says time to replace a couple of parts. So I'm going to show you really what the app, I actually cleared them up, but I'm going to show you what the app shows where it says, Hey, there's some problems and all, but I brought some accessories and these accessories are really, really essential to ensure that your rumba is really working properly. So the, the main ones that I, that you should always be actually replacing. And let's start with the debris actually extractor. You know, I'm going to show you when I bring the 960 there and then you're going to have the side brushes. So the side brushes right here is when it hits the corner and it just flips around and go from there. So it, 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 it flicks, it out and then the brush will roll it up into the canister of where it should be. And last but not least, you have the HEPA, a HEPA filter. And you know, all these things go through here and it gets that dust and it, it, it traps it from going any further. So these are good. These are the really main three that you really, really want to use in order to get these cleaned up and it goes to this filter and, and and keeps things clean to where it is so these these were uh the main ones that i actually uh wanted to get and, and take care of too for my uh rumba 960 you know i have the the 690 as well but i just wanted to do it for the 960 right now and i i went on amazon and it has a couple of people but i decided to do the Nolapine um, Rumba replacement. They were rated pretty high. And so I was okay. I, I, I got it and and I'm going to use these. And what we'll do next is actually do the replacement. So I want to go to do the replacement with what we have here. So I'm going to bring my 960 in. Alrighty. So let's move on from there. So now we're going to start with, I got my baby right here. I call it big boy. It's my big boy right here. I'm a big boy. So, you know, let's get it cleaned up a little bit and then we're going to flip it over and then we'll do our actual replacement parts and go from there. So I like to keep it clean because the dust gets sitting on here and it brushes up a lot of things. So, but that's what we look like. Let's flip her over, flip him over. So it kind of reveals most of the parts. You see the side brush right here. You see the extractors right here. And then when I take the, the debris catcher off, you'll be able to see the HEPA filter from like that. But, um, you know, it's, it's, if you see the brush, look how the brush is kind of like a little loose because it's been beating it up so much. But we're going to replace them all. What I normally do as well is I clean up the wheels and uh, I make sure the wheels and everything are, are, are cleaned up and the dust and everything is off. So let's flip it real quick. Take off the, the dust pan holder or whatever you want to call it. And look at these wheels. Filthy. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. Get our clean up. And it goes across the dirty floor like that. But uh, I think we'll be okay. Um, one of the things is the charger portion, you really want to keep that cleaned up as well. You want to clean that portion and ensure that those connections are as clean as possible. So when it goes back to charge, it won't be delayed and said it was not charged. So we'll do that. So let's flip it one more time. And so what you do from here is, you see this? I'm gonna press down and 
pull out. So look at what you have. See? So, open it. And look at that HIPAA filter. It looks a little filthy. Oh my God! Look at the dirt and everything that's inside it. This was previous night, so I, I got it scheduled for a certain time. So, we're going to take that out and close this up. Put this here. Now, this one we're going to throw away because we're going to actually replace it. So, no need. What I normally do is I brush this off and put it back in and then keep going from there. I don't, I don't do it as often. So, let's get this one replaced. So let's get back into the cleanup portion. So what I did is I got this all cleaned up. If you look inside, I cleaned the uh, made sure all the dust and everything was out. See so this closes up and you, you dump that. Remember all that dust and everything you saw in there? Now we, we're done with that. So now let's take care of the other replacement parts. So, so if you see here, this is one. So look at the dust and dirt that picks up right up inside of here. Um, these wear down. See these little ridges? These wear down a little bit. Look at all of this that's inside of there. Can you tell? You see that? But since we ain't, we normally, you know, you pull that out and extract that and go from there, but we're not going to do that. Uh, here's the other one. Look at that. Strings and stuff all inside of there. Everything moving up from that. So. We're moving these aside and we're going to get those replaced. So as you open this up, you're going to see a lot of dust and dirt up inside of here. So I like to clean up before I put the new one in there and make sure there's no extra dust collecting in there. See, I'll pull that out and brush that along. And uh, see all that dirt? Oh my God, there's a lot in here. There's a lot. Wow. So. Let's get all of that out. So what you see here is the new one. You see it's hard, it's clear, and you can see the inside of that. It's very clear. Um, so we got all the debris that's not in there that you saw from the previous one. So now look inside. We got it just enough, clean enough. Um, it's not going to be perfect because it's a vacuum. I'm not trying to make it pristine. So um, you got to make sure you put the right in there because if you line it up incorrectly it's gonna feel like hey this is the wrong piece so you see how that fits in so the, the yellow end is on the top and then when you grab the next one look at the end see that that block piece goes to the left side and then the yellow side goes once again off to the right and it'll slide in perfectly but if you do it backwards you're gonna be like something is wrong something is wrong you don't want to do that so I'm gonna close it up Tighten that up. I always test my rollers in that way. Now for the side brushes. So you get to screw that out already, loosen it up a little bit. But uh, we're going to try to get this loose and take that off. Replace it with the new one. Um, I don't think it's that big of a deal, but check out how the new ones is a little tighter. The brush is just a little bit tighter. So let me put the screw back in and show you that portion. We'll put the screw back in, tighten it up with a flathead screwdriver, and tighten it down. Just, just like and just flip it. Make sure it's not too tight, that it has the flexibility to spin around. So you don't want it to be too hard, because when it hits those corners, it goes from there. Nail for the filter. See, this is a the deal. Make sure you see where the yellow portion is. You want to make sure that's on the outside of where that silver clip is. And if you do it from there, then you should be fine. Then slide it back in. Flip that baby over. And you are complete. You are complete. Make sure it's tight. You know, I slap it in there, make sure it's nice and tight. And you can go from there. But that's it. That's all your replacement. There you go with the Robo 960. And you should be just fine with all your replacement parts. I hope this helped out. 